got Christine Steele. I know you play a pivotal role in not just the Trade Centre and GTC Radio, but also Taekwondo. So. Yes, I'm also director for the Grenada School of Martial Arts and Taekwondo. And what we're trying to do is build awareness and develop the sport, martial arts, Taekwondo, as a business and a sport here in Grenada. So how are you finding Taekwondo is being received here in Grenada? Uh, it's a slow process because, of course, um, everything takes time to develop. And I think that over the years it has not been marketed as a, or, or been exposed or the awareness was not brought to it, um, where people are quite aware of the benefits of martial arts, and it does carry um, huge benefits, mm -hmm. especially to our young people. Courtesy? Courtesy. Integrity. Integrity. Perseverance. Perseverance. Self-control. Self-control. Indomitable spirit. Indomitable spirit. I shall observe the terms of Taekwondo. I shall observe the terms of Taekwondo. I shall never misuse Taekwondo. I shall never misuse Taekwondo. I shall respect my instructors and my seniors. I shall respect my instructors and my seniors. I shall be a champion of freedom and justice. I shall be a champion of freedom and justice. And I will help to make a peaceful world. And I will help to make a peaceful world. Sure. What's the sort of reception you receive when you talk when you talk to Grenadians? You say Taekwondo. What's the initial reactions you get from people on the street? Okay, the kids are, you know, the kids are always excited to learn about something new. And I think, you know, when the kids are exposed to it, they kind of, you know, really gravitate to it. Mm. And also a little bit, it's a little bit different because it, if it's not, if you if you don't understand it, then you don't understand that it has more benefit because they see it as, you know, kicking and and punching. Yeah. But it has a, a real deep discipline to it. That's really what makes it this awesome sport. So one of the things that we embarked on, we have an initiative called the Olive Branch um, Community Project, and what that does is allow us to take this the art into the schools right. um, at the primary school level. Fantastic. And uh, we have launched launched that program earlier this year. It was um, actually in. Uh, around May, I think it was, that we launched that program and had the schools come in, brought in a few teachers and some um, students and show them a couple of videotapes and actually, uh, uh, you know, expose them to the children who are already involved into it. When we're at school, sometimes we'll know to have patience, no disrespect and try and avoid fighting and that means we have to be disciplined at all times, respect others, our teachers and our friends. Because when you are in school, a lot of children like to fight and this and everything. So Taekwondo is a martial art that can help you with the with discipline and everything. Again, you know, he takes a lot of work. Um, we had people who, you know, showed a lot of interest. Uh, we got the Ministry of Sports involved, and we also had the Ministry of Education who came on board and had endorsed the program. So. Um, again, it's going to take us a little while to get people to really understand what are the true benefits of it because it's not something that we can do overnight. Um, we want to expose it that it's not just a kicking and punching, it's a sport, it's a competitive sport. It's one of the fastest growing sports in the world today. It's, it, it's, it has so much benefits and it can take you into so much direction. In, in terms of empowerment, it is just one of the greatest tools. Okay, I know you talk about the Olive Branch mm -hmm. um, program that you've set up, the initiative. Right. Um, in terms of development, I know you talk about schools. Um, tell me more about the teachers that you have for Taekwondo. Here in Grenada, we have a few practitioners of the, the, the art. Um, the one, Mr. Melvin Coutain, mm -hmm. he's the CEO for the Grenada School of Martial Arts and Taekwondo, and he is actually the person who came up with the idea for the, the Olive Branch, and I think is extremely, I mean, it's really one of the programs that we should really bring forward. I'm trying to get this program off. Okay. The Olive Branch program. I have four schools. I have Cali's Grand Am Spring School, Woburn School. The principal in the school, I met with these people and them. Um, the response I find is very poor on the parents side, even the school. So they I had to make a 360 degree turn, think and come again. So what we are doing is trying to plan our, our program now to invite the school uh, programs in PowerPoint to actually see exactly what we're trying to do and where we would like to go. The next thing is equipment mm -hmm. and space for training. 
Um, the space you're using is the youth center. Not the appropriate place because I need a place where I can hang up a bag, I can have a speed ball, I could use my medicine ball and different stuff. Yeah, I could put on your mat on the ground for safety, health and safety and stuff, and have training and get the kids up and running. Tournaments, we need to have tournaments. Every three months, have tournaments within the schools. I believe if you have tournaments within the schools, the parents will get more interested, the business sector will get more interested, and then they could see it more, and people could willing to invest in it. Right. So, there's a lot of work on my part right now to educate so people. Some parents does not like the children to take part in these things, but these things can help the world and discipline everyone. We, if we travel and we go around and we could pick up other children off of the street, helping them to defend themselves and be disciplined and help everybody be stopped on the streets doing nothing, stabbing, killing, doing all kinds of random stuff and being in a class where it can help you. I'll open up my own school and see how I could fix some of these problems and get kids involved because I know they benefited a bit from me and what I am today. Um, so this is how I say, okay, how I'll come up with a school? So I come up with the Grenada School of Martial Art and Taekwondo. The reason I say martial art, I want to see not just Taekwondo people, I say martial art is a lot. Because martial art is a big industry which Absolutely. people don't tap into. It's an industry, you have a lot of money, to have the creative art industry, to have the comedy, the stage performance, just name it. Um, presently, I'm a naturopath consultant. I'm doing a degree now. Um, I'm also into herbology. I'm also in massage and reflexiology. Just name it, um, conflict resolution. All these different courses I do because of martial art to reach out to kids. Kids, and then somebody meet me, they say, Melvin, why does you work with kids? I say, oh, I work with kids. I still don't think about it. And the steel and others encourage me, and I start working with kids. Now, that is my greatest passion. Well, I will describe my teacher as kind because he has, he has teach me a lot of things. He just teach me never give up, do my best in everything I do. Which has strengthened me whenever I'm down and he teach me discipline. Sometimes he's very, very sick and he still comes and he puts in his best and he never gives up. He has told me to train hard because he can help me for my, for, for my benefit in the future, like in secondary and school. And things are happening, not as happening as fast as I would like to. The Ministry of Sports with us, the Ministry of Education, the biggest task now is education. Um, right now is to reach out to the public. Parents is what are having problem, especially mothers. Now, they're bringing the kids, you oh, I don't have money. No, the issue is not money here right now. The issue is about getting these kids involved and getting these kids to do something different, get them kids to see life in a different way. Okay, they don't have the time. But I see other kids inside my arm watching television every day. What are you watching? People shooting people, stabbing people, lying, doing all kind of things. Sexual behavior, what really going on there? And you still find people going on that route. So, what I'm planning right now is to do what I call a PowerPoint, bring people together, the different schools together, sit down, explain what I'm trying to do. This is what martial arts is all about. This is where you can take you. I know it's a big task, I'm working on it. So, Melvin, um, what are the challenges you're facing at the moment? The assistant I need right now. I sent out a letter to the diaspora, Grenadian diaspora, for help. I haven't got a response I since last year. No letter, no response come back up to today okay. um, from these people. Somebody out there who listening, please come on board and assist us. Grenadians in the diaspora who are doing martial arts, who are involved in competition or coaching or whatever material you have you can assist, I'm willing to accept. I believe we will be in for the stars we will land on the moon. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Melvin, Thank you. for talking to Sports Roundup. This is Ingram Jones from Sports Roundup. I'm out.